Hardy's climb to fast food success hasn't been a smooth ride. They've been accused of sexist advertising, competed bitterly with other brands, and so much more. Here's everything you never knew about Hardy's. What's the difference between Hardee's and Carl's Jr.? Their advertising looks almost identical, so what gives? The answer is location, location, location. As former CEO Andy Puzder told CNBC in 2014, Yeah, in the Southwest and in the East, and actually we're now moving up the East Coast, we have Hardee's. Hardee's and Carl's Jr. are really the same brand. Hardee's started in North Carolina in the 1960s, and Carl's Jr. first popped up in California 20 years prior. In the 90s, Carl's Jr.'s parent company, CKE Restaurants, bought Hardee's. Rather than risk losing their established identities, they each kept their name. Ask any Midwestern baby boomer about Burger Chef and they'll probably have fond memories. Open wide, America! Burger Chef's got big, juicy, terrific burgers for you! 100% all beef! The fast food chain was an innovator in the industry, but was eventually gobbled up by the big dogs, with Hardee's delivering the death blow. In the early 70s, Burger Chef was second only to McDonald's in number of locations, but in 1981, Hardy swooped in and bought Burger Chef for $44 million. From there, Hardee's began either closing every Burger Chef location or converting them into Hardee's. By the end of 1996, the last Burger Chef was gone. Hardee's didn't coin the term food porn, but they certainly took the phrase and ran with it. Maybe you remember the ads for Hardee's Thick Burgers or their other monster-sized sandwiches. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking, but come on, it's called the Bacon 3-Way Burger, what'd you expect? The ads, which featured models like Heidi Klum and Kate Upton, were sharply criticized and called sexist by various media outlets. In 2015, Andy Puzder, then CEO of Hardy's parent company, defended the commercials. I like beautiful women eating burgers and bikinis. I think it's very American. The strategy worked, with the videos raking in millions of views on YouTube, Puzder claims they boosted profits too. Go figure. By 2017, though, those sexy ads were on their way out, and Hardee's had a new game plan. To get people's minds off bosoms and back on burgers, Hardee's created the fictional character Carl Hardee Sr. The original three-minute ad featured a Hardee's office run by a spoiled Carl Hardee Jr. Then Carl Hardee Sr. returns, reminding people that Hardee's was not just a softcore pioneer, but also a burger pioneer. Take that down. Put that up. That was supposed to be a fresh ingredient. And then that lady got in there and her clothes flew off. It was windy. Another commercial featured Carl Hardy Sr. blowing up his son's bikini collection. As well-intentioned as the ads were, some critics felt they still played into dated female stereotypes. Glamour wrote, The revised brand image still portrays women as objects, just objects that don't belong in burger ads. By 2018, the brand was satirizing their former campaign with an ad starring actress and comedian Celeste Barber. It's a start, anyway. Maybe you've seen Hardee's commercials boasting about their hand-breaded chicken tenders and thought, yum, Hardee's serves chicken now. Well, it's not the first time they've tried serving fried chicken, only the most recent. And Hardee's fried chicken, it's tradition. Back in the 1990s, Hardee's was all about fried chicken, and they made a valiant effort to compete with Colonel Sanders and his Kentucky Fried Chicken empire. This was likely the result of Hardee's buying the Roy Rogers chain and attempting to incorporate their fried chicken success into its own restaurants. Hardee's even claimed their chicken won out over KFC in taste tests. Folks in a taste test preferred Hardee's over KFC original recipe almost two to one. Better chicken than Kentucky Fried. But alas, it wasn't meant to be. By the early 2000s, Hardee's was putting its focus back on burgers. They cut 40 items from their lunch and dinner menus, and fried chicken was left behind. Maybe it wasn't too popular after all. Several fast food chains have offered turkey burgers over the years, but Hardee's rolled them out first. In 2011, the chain teamed up with Men's Health and the editors of Eat This, Not That to create turkey burgers that clocked in at 500 calories. To help you remember our delicious new char-broiled turkey burger, we hired Ms. Turkey. One major problem. Critics didn't think they tasted good. One review from Serious Eats said, it reminded me of the gruel in the Matrix, food that doesn't taste like anything because it has been engineered to be healthy. KFC has cast big stars like Rob Lowe in their ad campaigns, and Arby's has Ving Rhames pitching their meats. It's the most exciting thing to happen to turkeys since the invention of the turkey baster. But Hardee's has both chains beat in the star power category. Back in the 1970s, Hardee's recruited Cass Elliott from the Mamas and the Papas to sing a jingle for them. And so I hurried on down to Hardee's, where the burgers are charcoal broiled. In the 1980s, the fast food chain tapped claymation sensation the California Raisins to advertise their cinnamon raisin biscuits. In 2005, they created that notorious Paris Hilton car wash ad, 
From there, everyone from reality stars like Kim Kardashian to Top Chef host Padma Lakshmi and pro fighter Ronda Rousey found themselves seduced by Hardy's fast food delights. It's time to answer the call. Fast forward to 2018 and they've got Matthew McConaughey doing voiceover work for Carl's Jr. and actor David Koechner pushing Hardy's. Which means we hand make them like we do almost everything. Because that's what makes them so tasty, right Dad? I wasn't kidding about the hand making stuff.